So I completely forgot, John. At the beginning of this video, you <laughs> said you were going to tell us a story. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to tell it now, Dave. Yeah, is it because I cut you off when you were about <laughs> to start it? Because I didn't know. Cut me off when I was about to start it. This yeah. is just a bad production. That's on me. So, <laughs> go on. What's our story? So the teaser was, you know, uh, the first uh, album cover. You know, basically computer generated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You claim that it's by yes. It is. It is the album 90125. Uh, you're welcome to pull that up. I could do it in post, but you may as well look at it as mm -hmm, well as mm -hmm. go on. Um, so basically, Yes had been using this awesome artist, Roger Dean, and the craziest album covers you ever saw in your life. You know, you've seen, you know, the Yes logo was created by Roger mm -hmm. Dean, you know, swirls. It really looks like the, the scenery for Avatar films was based on Yes album covers. Okay. Okay. I mean, if, if you look at the two, you're going, yeah, you know what? That's a little bit too coincidental. Um, but anyway, so yes, I've been doing that. But when they came back with this album that was originally the band was, was not going to have John Anderson. It had new guys in it and it was going to, the band was going to be called cinema. But when the record companies and the manager management pulled John Anderson back into the project, they said, well, we can't call it cinema now because that was the name of the band at that mm. point with cinema. We have to call it yes. Okay. Well, they they had already gone to this this fellow named Gary uh, at a company called Assorted Images. Is that boy? How you? I love it when creative people are so creative with the company <laughs> names. Assorted Images. <laughs> like, oh, oh, you have an eat donuts store. What's it called? Assorted Donuts. <laughs> I mean, I do like Assorted Donuts though. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it is dumb. <laughs> so uh, this guy's specialty was was creating things using uh, an Apple IIe computer, which was fairly new. Okay, in the in the uh, early '80s. So originally, the album cover was going to be gray with a three dimensional uh, letter C on it, and some weird um, visual artifacts. I think we would call them that that showed up in the process that are pure mistakes, mm. but generated by the computer. And uh, when when they became yes, they went back to the guy and they said, "Can you change the C to a Y?" <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And then and they did. named an album after a bunch of numbers, which I also don't think is that creative. Um, nine hundred one two five. Yeah, or is, or is called nine hundred one two five because until it had a name, and this is this is what typically happens. Uh, they have to market something on the tapes or. You know what I mean? They have to name it something, so they mm -hmm. name it what its UPC symbol is going to be. Oh, <laughs> that's that's what dumb and kind of funny. Okay. So normally, that's a temporary name, and they replace it with the real name of the album. But they just got so comfortable calling it nine hundred one two five, which was the UPC symbol for the album. That's okay. what it stayed nine hundred one two five. And I will say, when it comes to AI-generated images, and obviously I've been spoiled by modern technology, uh, this is definitely in the more simplistic realm. I mean, it's just sort of like some lines in a circle and and three other lines and on a gray background. Yeah, well, the, the, some of the lines are artifacts that weren't intended to be there, that okay. the computer generated itself. Um, I don't know what else to say beyond that. Uh, and you're just looking at it yourself, so I'll pull it up in post and have it up so that other people can can view the fun but um it is you know from the yes standpoint it is a relatively boring album cover mm -hmm. i won't argue that at all yeah but either yeah. way it's like going back and watching tron like the original tron at the time yeah. absolutely incredible and the truth is it was incredible they did such a good job given what they had to work with i now, think it's still believable today it's just not it just doesn't have that epicness that we get from cgi today mm -hmm. yeah the, but you i can think i tell i Fully believe that guy's riding that motorcycle. Yeah, they did a great job. I've actually watched it within the past five years. So relatively modern times. And I will say it holds up. It shockingly holds up. You can definitely tell it tell it feels like playing a video game from you know the mid-2000s. But at the same time, given what they had, incredible that they managed to pull that off. So it is neat that some of this stuff has been around for that long. Also, as of videos that we released last week, I didn't even remember that phone still had a dial tone. So I'm not sure you should really listen to me much. Yeah. This is not tech talk in any way, shape, or form. 